it's ASMR world here. I am Rock. So it's Friday, and if you're a regular watcher of the channel, you'll know I've been away for about a week, which is probably the longest I've left uploading a video. There is good reason for that. Uh, my mother-in-law, obviously my wife's mum, was taken. assessed and whatnot for whatever was wrong with her and all we could hear was people shouting come on Michael come and sit down Michael over and over again and some bloke trying let me go let me go crazy man I looked out I was like what's going on around here took a look around the corner this bloke called Michael is running around the bloody hospital bent over like this let me go let me go lots of doctors and nurses are chasing him everywhere not a Seven hours later, or ten hours later, we're still in hospital. She's settled on a, in a ward. My mother-in-law is. And I hear the same bloke, let me go. He was still being chased around ten hours later. He's like, I had the test she told me to do, now let me go. He took a big bloke, like way bigger than me. And uh, there was a woman, a security guard woman, trying to stop this bloke. I was like, you ain't going to stop me, what you do, what you're about. He was a crazy man. So yeah, some really crazy people in hospital. And then yesterday, the ward she was on yesterday, there's a lady in there called Doreen, probably in her 70s, kept trying to take a top off in front of the whole room. Crackers. But I hope uh, my mother-in-law gets some good news today. We'll be up there from 12 o'clock. Uh, we'll get some results from the tests that she had done. So, fingers crossed, all is good. So what's been going on in the week and I've been gone. Football England scored was it ten goals in two games. Uh, battered the Czech Republic and battered uh, those racists over in Montenegro. If you're Montenegrin, I apologise if you're not racist, but you seem to be a lot of them were. So fuck off. Not you, but then. Uh, so good news. That was good for England. I saw England is losing one 0 to Montenegro. I've not seen a single goal from that game. I haven't seen the goals. I'll check it on YouTube in a bit. As I said, back and forth to the hospital. But the first game uh, was on Friday. I saw the goals of that game against the Czech Republic. Battered them. I was really fucking impressed. And Man United made that man behind me the permanent manager of the club yesterday. And that's what we're going to talk about today. ago, years and years ago, I used to work at this place, it was a factory, 
used to work to pass the time, we would ask each other for more questions, for more live questions, and I'd come up with them, or somebody else would. Me and these two lads I worked with, and they were quite tricky, but we'd have to get the answer. So that's what we're doing now. I'm going to give you a question, and I will be um, doing a video on these questions at some point where I do a whole video of them. These ain't off the internet, these are questions I've come up with. So today's question I want the answer in the box below. There's free answers. Okay. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is an ex Premier League winner. He won the Premier League with United. He's now managing my United. Which other which three other managers have won the Premier League and gone on to manage a top six Premier League team? Those be Man United, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea. Three other men have managed those top six in the Premier League and have also won the Premier League title. One of them you might feel is a bit of a trick question, but it isn't. It's genuine. So, check it out. Don't look on the internet. Use your brain. That's what it's there for. Right up here. Use that. And I want all the answers in the box below. I'll give out a shout out to the first ten people who get the answers correct. And I'll be doing a video in the future with all these questions. Hopefully next week I'll record that. Right then, so Solskjaer yesterday became, was confirmed as my United's new full-term manager, full-time manager. Oh, I've just got to skip along what I said, because I'm not recording for about half an hour, I'm afraid. Uh, when he first came into United, I was over excited. I was chuffed to get Jose out, and I was happy to get Solskjaer in. But I did say I don't want to do too well, because I don't want to get the job full-time. That was before he won 14 games out of 19, beat PSG in the Champions League, beat Arsenal and Chelsea in the FA Cup. Yes, we lost to Wolves. Wolves had great results this season. Um, beat Liverpool in the FA Cup. Wolves did it out. So I was not ashamed of them beating us. They beat Chelsea in the league, got a draw away in the league as well. They drew away Arsenal, drew away United, drew at home with Man City. So losing their way to Wolves is not embarrassing for United in the FA Cup. They also lost to Arsenal in the league, United, but they beat them in the FA Cup. They've had a lot of injury problems under Solskjaer. Matic has been out, Herrera has been out, Pop has been suspended, Lingard has been out injured, Martial has been out injured, Lukaku has been injured. A hell of a lot of injury problems. And yet we still find ourselves fourth only at the minute, I think. Champions League against Barcelona, which I don't think will go through. I think we will beat Barcelona in the first leg at Old Trafford and then go out in the second leg in Barcelona, unfortunately. Our team's not set up to beat Barcelona just yet. Maybe in a couple of seasons, maybe it will be. And people on Talk Sport yesterday saying, Liverpool fans mainly, there wasn't anyone really calling from City or Chelsea at the top, it was mainly Liverpool fans. How can United fans be excited about Solskjaer coming in? Well, I give it to you. If Steven Gerrard were to replace Klopp, would you not be excited? Of course you wouldn't be. So don't talk crap. Klopp has spent a lot of money at Liverpool. Fabinho, 40 million. Cater, 50 odd million. Alisson, 60 million, was it? Uh, Van Dijk, 70 million. A lot, a lot of money. And hasn't won a thing with Liverpool yet. Not saying he won't do. But he still hasn't won anything yet. He's been Champions League final, lost it. FA Cup final, was it? I think. Or League Cup final, one of them, lost it. Europa Cup final, didn't get to one else with Liverpool, lost that. So, don't come to me with how can United fans be excited about a soul shot? I'll tell you now, because he's a club legend. He's got the feel good fans back at my club. He's got Fergie and he's on the phone whenever he needs him. He's got Fergie's former assistant, Mick Phelan helping him out. He has Michael Carrick, who worked under Jose, and wasn't really allowed to say it, but he worked because he was too scared to, which I would be as well. He has um, oh, Ian McKenna. Ian McKenna, sorry, Ian. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't know his name just before I said it on here. Excuse me. I forget that one. Um, let's try and find out because I want to get the right name.
the same, so sharp, has a good base and a good surrounding support staff around him. So I'm happy, I'm excited, I don't think he will win a Premier League title for us the next couple of seasons because City are way far ahead of us, way too far ahead for us to think about winning Premier League titles. But I do feel we, it's now become a three way race. City, United, Liverpool, as of next season, we'll be in there with them too, challenging. Scared to attack against City, Liverpool, PSGs. We'd be happy to play the United way, which is full steam ahead. Thank you very much. See you later, Clumpy. I'll play it in. Poch hasn't won anything at Tottenham, so why not want Poch in? He's had a good few years with Tottenham, he's had a few opportunities against Leicester, the Premier League. You know, this season. Basically, they did fail all of Pochettino, all of Tottenham, but Pochettino has his own little, yeah, little thing going on at Tottenham. And I don't think United would have been the right fit for that guy. Maybe it would be down the line. But my opinion's changed on Solskjaer since he came in. Now I want him to be successful, obviously. I don't think we'll win the Champions League under Solskjaer. I don't think we'll probably win anything under Solskjaer. But if it means getting the feel good fans are back, the happy football entertaining football that Solskjaer will bring I'll take that any day of the week over a boring Premier League win under Premier League title win under Jose or Van, da or Van Gaal or David Moyes <laughs> go to sleep football this is what I was watching for the last few years now I've seen Solskjaer play wake me up football happy days football keep me awake football funny story when Solskjaer was managing the under-23s for United, he bought a really nice house in the area. When he moved back to Norway uh, to manage Mulder, he rented the house out. To guess who? Have a guess. Probably the best centre-back in the Premier League right now. Virgil van Dijk. Yes, van Dijk is renting Solskjaer's house. He manages Solskjaer comes along, right? Sorry, van Dijk, you got to get out. Just upset with Bill. It upset Van Dyke and try to pull off his performance. He and pull off his um, strand. Don't be surprised if it happens. Strange things have happened at City and in football. Now, who would I see leave United under Solskjaer? Uh, okay, I'll go for his quick time. Valencia, Matteo Darmian, Eric Bailly, Marcus Rojo, Phil Jones could all go. Sanchez can go. Juan Mata. I like the lad. He's a really friendly lad I've never met him but he seems really nice down to earth but I'd maybe keep Mata but at the same time I would say Bond can play if he wins players we're being linked with Koulibaly not 90 million thank you Scrinia from Inter potentially but not the sort of they're talking about hang on um, Jaden Sancho seen Sancho come in but it's a lot a lot of money 100 million quid imagine that front three now Rashford Martial Sancho I wouldn't mind seeing that um, Aaron Wan-Bissaka is being linked right back at Palace I wouldn't say no to that because Diego Dalot will be our only chosen right back I don't want Ashley Young there anymore after this, this season I don't want him to go but I'd be first choice right back or even cover for right back I'd say get Bissaka in for right back and play um, Dallo as backup for a while. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Juan Bissaka have more tackles than any other defender at like that or interceptions. I heard a while back it's was stupid like that anyway. So it's great for me showing this season for Palace and fair play to the lad. And he could be our Trent Alexander Arnold if he came in. Our new Gary Neville. Sanchez and his stupid money for Bale and Bale's injury problems and stupid money and Sanchez also has injury problems so it's like for like no thank you uh, who else have we linked with Alfie Arnold I wouldn't mind 
Thank you.